Hello there, Anxious Cynic here, continuing our beginner's guide series in Minimator. So in this video, I wanted to cover how to fix those wonky rotation points like we were dealing with with the sword in the previous tutorials. So if you recall, let's go ahead and select our sword here. If we wanted to lay this flat, when we grab this and we churn it like so, it collapses the Z and Y axes on the rotation together. So if I undo this, you'll see that they're all the way that you would want them to be all separate and ready to rotate as desired. But as soon as I try to lay this flat, then we get those. And then we had to do that weird finagling, if you recall, when I was trying to get it to animate picking up the sword. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, then I recommend watching the previous part in this series where this issue occurred. Anyway, so the question may be, instead of just finagling with it, how do we fix this problem where it doesn't happen again? It's actually a pretty simple solution. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and reset this back. And all we're going to do is use a folder, which is basically an empty object in the scene to give us a new rotation point on this sword. So the way we're going to do that is by just creating a folder. And basically the way this works is if I don't have anything selected, I can create a folder and you'll see right there it puts in the timeline. I just click this little button right there, by the way, uh, and it just puts it in the timeline. But we maybe don't want to do it that way. So I'm going to undo and undo and uh, if you have something selected like here I have the sword and hand object selected and then I click it it automatically parents that object that you had selected to the folder so you'll notice here that the folder is parented to the default position on the arm just like the sword was initially so what I want to do is actually match up the position of the folder and the sword so all I'm going to do is go over here to the sword in hand and we can see its location and its rotation and all these things here. What I can do is either just copy these numbers over, like if I say this is a point, I mean, this is 2.58 on Y and negative 3.4, then I can just go over here and type in 2.58 and negative 3.4 and then that'll put it about where it is. Alternatively, we can just copy this keyframe. So let me go ahead and delete this keyframe. I'm gonna double click on it and hit delete. And I'm just gonna double click on the sword icon here and we're gonna copy this keyframe and then we're gonna click on the folder and then we're gonna paste just like so and then that pastes it there. But it also pasted the rotation. Maybe we want that, maybe we don't. Uh, it kind of depends, you can do it either way. But uh, for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and reset that and then as you can see, the sword is now there and it's actually smaller because it copied the scale as well. So we're going to go ahead and undo that by right clicking on it. And then now everything is back to normal. So now the folders rotation point is where the source was initially. So all we have to do is go to the sword and reset that. So it lines up with the folder. And now you'll see that when I click on the folder, the icons are the same. So Basically, you know, what I did is I have the folder not rotated and we just have the sword rotated. But if you did this uh, initially, then you can use the folder to rotate the sword or however you want to do it. But basically what this does is that now that the sword is rotated to the position that we want, because if you recall, if we went to default, it was like that and we rotated it to match Steve's hand. So I'm going to undo that and have it right there. So now, you know, if I rotate this, you see that the axes collapse. Well, I'm going to undo that. And if I go to the folder here, and I rotate like so. Since it has no previous rotations on it, it maintains that uh, that same axis or whatever you want to call it. it. It looks the same because it's not collapsing anything on itself because it's not rotated in any other way previously. I don't really know how to explain that. I'm sorry, but if you get kind of get the gist of what I'm saying here, then uh, that's an easy way to fix that. It's also a way that you can give custom rotation points to things if you need to if they don't have the you know the ability like characters used to not have that option and stuff like that but it's a way that you can fix some of those collapsing rotation points and it also can be used in more advanced animation and stuff but this is a really quick simple easy way to avoid that problem that we experienced in the last part and I just wanted to share it with you guys so there it is guys hope that was helpful I hope I explained it well enough to where you understand it Anyway, if you liked this video, if you thought it was helpful, then feel free to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to become a citizen today. Share it with your friends and your family and your pets. And I will see you guys in the next video.